The last few years, Keith Cavias and I in particular have been talking a lot about crankbaits and fishing walleyes. One of the baits that you hear all the time coming out of our mouth is flicker shad. Flicker shad, flicker shad. There's a reason for that. The bait itself has been around now for about six or seven years. The Berkeley crew, their R&D crew, allowed Keith and I to help build this bait from scratch and work on the action. It's really critical to have the right action to catch a lot of fish. We spent a couple years in the design of the flicker shed. There are many sizes now. They're size four, five, six, seven, and nine. But it took over two years to get the actions of this bait because one of the things that we wanted to do as tournament anglers, have a bait that would trip the trigger of these game fish so that they'd want to bite it more often than anything else. Well, what has happened with that shad style bait is we've actually taken it to another level. This last year we added the Pro Series colors. You've got a slick foil pattern and then an internal foil pattern. Well, the tournament guys really have been using these a lot and have won a lot of money already in the last year or so. So shad style baits are really good baits. The next style bait that you look for in trying to trip the trigger of a game fish is a minnow bait. And here we have the new flicker minnows. Again, because probably because of the success of the flicker shad, Berkeley's design team said, hey, would you guys work with us on the minnow? So this one took three years. The minnow shapes take a little bit longer to nail down that action. And we fished these baits on so many bodies of water. That's why it took three years. So that goes back to the, the question, what bait should I get? What bait should I use? Well, we've narrowed it down to two basic choices in terms of what the fish will use 90% of the time. That's shad and minnow, right? So your job is to carry a big enough assortment of different sizes of baits so that you can literally give them any type of profile that they're looking for. And then after you get the right size and action of bait, then you start playing with the colors. You narrow it down until you find that magic lure for the day. That's exactly what we did in all of those years of development, is we let the fish tell us the story on these baits. You do the same thing when you're on the water and you're going to get a lot more fish.